are my curly hair stable? I mean, I would expect them to be stable if they were straight. Why are curly hair stable and why are some curls more curly than others? We are going to learn that. Hi, I am Jagriti Hinduja and you are watching The Curly Physicist. Not only the physics of curly hair, you are going to learn the physics of all the naturally curved objects like pipes, tables, plant tendrils or maybe DNA. Scientists studied this on the basis of two parameters, curvature and weight. When we talk about curvature, curvature is the natural tendency of an object to get curved on being suspended on its own weight and keeping all the mechanical properties like Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and length, radius, volumetric mass constant, the curvature affects the shape of the hair. When the curvature of hair is zero, we would expect the hair to be straight. Scientists call this as the 2D hook. When the curvature is positive but small, we would expect the hair to be curly at the ends and straight near the clamp. Scientists call this as non-planar localized helix. However, when the curvature is very large, the hair would curl around throughout the length until and unless they become stable. Scientists call this as non-planar global helix. One more interesting fact about curly hair. You're not ready for this, I'm sure. Curly hair gets less tangled than straight hair. Yeah. Am I right? Like My hair tangles more than anybody and straight hair tangles more than mine. I'm not ready for this. But scientists prove this. They say when we talk about true tangles, true tangles are the tangles which resist the draw of the comb. It was found in an experimental study that uh, straight hair averages about 5 tangles per head whereas curly hair averages about 3 tangles per head. This happens because the angle at which two straight hairs meet are more likely to lead to tangles. Moreover, straight hair are light and move individually whereas the curly hair moves together and are less likely to lead to tangles.